Hello! Some new Steve's Factory Manager stuff has arrived. This time it's a few commands, but these commands don't really do anything. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Well, they don't do anything on their own, but they are rather there to increase the structure of your manager so you can utilize the other commands much better. So let's take a look. The first we'll see now is, well, I don't know exactly what you realize here, but we have two new things. We have a second row of commands, we have the delete one there at the end, usually it's uh, also down here, and speaking of down here, we have commands there, so it's actually telling us how many commands we have. Previously, I wanted to have as little as possible in this interface uh, to give you more space with commands, but now I thought, well, I can steal this bottom line, so the full line here can be used for text because now we have an infinite interface. It's not m multiple tabs that people have suggested and it's not a scrollable uh, interface that people also have suggested. It's something that I personally think is much better. We have groups, command groups. So now, as you can also see, it's, it's up in there to tell us how many commands we have. But he here's the group. No inputs or uh, any outputs. But if we open it up, we get a content menu here. <laughs> with no nothing in it. Well, drop commands here to put them into this group or click to open the group. Right, so if I add some commands here, so trigger, I don't know, maybe, yeah, so I'm just going to add uh, a few commands here that I'm not really going to use, just to, to show you. And now if I click here, right, click, everything disappeared. Oh, well, it still tells us we have four commands, but now it tells us we're in the group, like so. The reason why it says group here because it's called group. So if I rename it, I can tell uh, maybe um, variables. If I want to keep variables here or uh, some logic, I don't know. I want to name them. And now if I click here again, it will say some logic here. So I know that I, I'm in some logic. As you saw, I used this close group button to go back up here, like so. And then, like I said, if you want to, you can just drop them there and they will appear here. Or you can, of course, create them here right away. And it's going to keep track on all the commands, so it's easy to know uh, how, how big your system is. Uh, otherwise, it could be one group and, well, there might be a thousand commands. Speaking of a thousand commands, I also upped some, some limits, so now you can have more commands, because previously, uh, well, it wouldn't make sense to have a lot, because, well, your interface would fill up. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so now I can set something up here, and it can do things like so, but that's a bit boring. What if I want to interact with the uh, the things uh, here? Uh, well, the way I do it is I can't do anything here, but it's just dynamic. So the co uh, connections are dynamic. So if I go in here and create a group node, so now I have a node here, right? Okay, I can uh, tell it to be an input node, which has an output, or an output node, which has an input. This might sound a bit weird, but it makes perfect sense, I promise you. Okay, so this is my input node, and I'm going to put it here, I don't need that. I'm going to connect it like so, and, well, let's pretend it's doing things. Now if I go back here, we can see that this is my, here's my input node. It says node. Why? Well, it's called node. Let's call it something else. Uh, I don't know. Hello. Let's do stuff. Okay, so now that's that one is called Hello Let's Do Stuff, and now if I close the group and over here, I can say this is the Hello Let's Do Stuff pin. Of course, maybe I want to continue things outside it. Well, you probably guessed it. I create a new uh, node here, and I select it to be an output one. So that has an input node, but that means that if I continue all the way here, I will continue over here, and it's just node because I haven't named it. Uh, you can have a maximum of five inputs and five outputs in, in any group. So there's a limit there, so you can go up to five of each. So to do that, you simply uh, add more, like so, and then you can just name them something else. Uh, pi, you know, very important stuff. Then we go back, then we have hello, let's do stuff, and then pi. If I now trigger something up here, that means that uh, it's going to get triggered here, and if I reach this node, we will go back the execution. The execution will go back here, so we can trigger something like that. Of course, you can use triggers inside here as well. So it's just a grouping system. It's not different scopes or anything. So we can we can do something like 
that or like that and if you put variables in here as well they will also be uh, the same variables it's just a grouping way well a grouping system not a, uh, a scope system right okay um, so now what if I want to move things back like all right I move them here but I don't really want this trigger here I want it back well it's fairly simple just move it to the move back so when you hover here move from group drop command here boom there we go and it's all of a sudden back here what if you have a lot of commands like this chain here what if I want to move it or maybe I have a, a another chain of command here so I have these guys here this doesn't really make any sense but I have these three commands so maybe let, let's pick one more like that okay so what if I want all of these to go out well I can move them one by one but that's also going to disconnect them because one will got to move it away what you can do is move it over here one of them and hold shift if I do that it's going to take everything in a cluster so everything that's connected to it in a chain in any direction is going to get moved so if you want to move like these two commands in one go you can for instance deselect that and then just move this as a cluster by holding shift so so obviously if you have everything connected to each other it's going to move everything so therefore it might be a good idea to disconnect uh, disconnect the parts that you want to move and this also works in the other direction so now if I hold shift you can't see that but I'm doing that and drop it there it's going to move it all in here and it's still going to be connected if well it's a bit stupid that that, that you would do that but if you for instance um, uh, let's connect it like this like so so I have the chain here if I shift click this uh, here it's not going to move the group inside a group that wouldn't really work so it's disconnecting the same group but apart from that it's going to move everything that's connected and yes I said same group because well there's obviously no no limitations to have multiple groups and of course there's no limitations to have groups in groups so now we have some logic and inside that we have group inside that we have uh, uh, I don't know cake uh, inside that we have a group again here we have a group 2 yeah so you can just add more and more groups like this it's totally fine and the interface the width of the interface is not even the limit it's going to just um, uh, add dots here in the beginning so now I like 10 uh, uh, groups down or something like that so when I in the beginning said now we have uh, an infinite uh, an interface inf infinite interface I really meant it so you can just add more and more groups uh, go deeper into well now I just did a linear uh, group depth if you wish I just had one group in each group of course you can have 10 groups in each group they are just normal commands of course we have a limit of commands you can have 512 commands in any manager at any given time so that's quite a lot uh, you will have to do quite advanced things to actually get to that but yeah that's pretty much it for now quite useful I would say because now you can start cleaning up things and yes I'm using some more interface space here but the groups allow you to uh, well organize anything better anyways so that's it good luck